Hi, in this video I want to talk to you about communication, language. Oh, such a big cultural difference. Language, what is it? Language is words, the words that we speak, but language is also expressions, facial expressions, gestures. Language is also silence. Or speaking very loud. Or speaking very silently. Pausing. Interrupting. Language is so many things. But really, the big cultural difference is the difference between high and low context. Oh, what does that mean? Well, it means the low context is direct. The high context is indirect language. Let me explain and give you examples. Low context cultures are to the point, short sentences, clear. The message is clear right away. The other cultures are categorized as high context culture, where the message is indirect, sometimes long stories and you have to kind of figure out the message that is in the story. So it's longer sentences, it's more story. The cultures that are direct are, for example, Germany, um, Netherlands, Denmark. The cultures that are high context are Japan, India, Latin Americans. An example would be if someone says, don't look so angry. That's very direct. Or, I don't like your green sweater. It is short, it's to the point, it's direct, and it may come across as rude or unpolite or shocking to many other cultures that are categorized as high context. In fact, living in the Netherlands, people are very direct and people coming from the outside of the Netherlands, the first thing they say is, oh, wow, people are blunt, people are rude. But the Dutch people in Netherlands, they're like, well, we're just saying what we think. We're just giving our opinion. We're just being honest. We're just telling the truth. So they both mean well. You see how the differences in perception, the differences in language, the differences in low or high context. I think it's fascinating. Let me give you another example. Don't look so angry. How can you say that in a high context manner? Well, oh, cheer up. It'll be fine. So one culture would say, well, don't look so angry. Bam, direct. The other culture would say, oh, cheer up. Everything will be fine. It's another way of saying, well, you're looking angry. Stop that. <laughs> you know? So that is one example. Another example is the meaning of yes or no. Ah, oh, that is something that so many people are frustrated about because in direct cultures with low context, yes means yes, no means no. Yes, I can do it. No, I can't do it. Easy, they say. I'm just saying the truth. I'm just telling you yes or no. But the cultures with a high context, they don't like to confront with a no, because saying no is way too confrontational. And those cultures, they like harmony. They like peace. They like to save face. They like to have a good relationship. And with a good relationship and a harmonious relationship, you don't say no. So the word no, mm -mm -mm -mm, they don't use it. But that means that they say yes, and the word yes has about five meanings. Yes, yeah, I can do it. Yes, maybe I can do it. Yes, I'm not so sure I can do it. Yes, I will do my best. Yes, I don't think I can make it. But they will always say yes. <laughs> Whereas in a direct culture, 
Can you do it? Yes, I can do it, and you can count on it. Or they will say, no, I can't do it. So, who is right? Who is wrong? There is no right or wrong. It is just different. Different contexts, different cultures, different perceptions. The solution? One, be aware of which culture you are belonging to. Are you a culture that is more direct or more indirect? And then it becomes easy. Because two, when you deal with other cultures, you realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm direct. Maybe I can just give my sentences a bit longer, explain it a bit more, be a bit more indirect. Put some effort into that. And also accept that the other culture is not the same. So be open-minded, be flexible, and most of all, be aware of the difference between low context and high context, between directness and indirectness. Be aware of nonverbal gestures. How do you know all of this? How can you know all of this? By observing. Observe what's going on. Observe what others do. And do a little bit of research, maybe, before you go somewhere, before you meet with another culture, before you do business with another culture. A little bit of research, like, ooh, what is appropriate? What is polite? You learn all the time and you adapt to the other. I'm not saying change yourself. No, no, no. I keep repeating that and I keep repeating there's no right or wrong. But just try to be open minded, be aware. And then it's easy. Yes, it's easy. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs>